Okay, let's begin. Just take a moment, find your spot. Move your feet out in a little bit so you feel like you're pretty comfortable standing. Just begin with the awareness of your feet, your connection to earth, the toes touching the ground, the edges of the feet, the heels, the ball. And there's a slight hollow just behind the bend at the ball of the foot. Point to the kidney, meridian system touching the ground. A little bit like an extension of the root chakra through the legs. Between the legs, imagine a golden root tethers you to the ground, weaves through your spine, connects to the crown of your head, rises as a golden thread to the heavens, to the cosmos. Imagine it pulled gently, taking out the slack, like a taut line. Feel yourself connected in the center. I am here. I am here, and they are here with me. I am here in this place. I am here in this body. I am here in this heart. I am here with this mind, in this consciousness. I am here in this moment, this eternal now, this present experience. I am here with this intention this honoring of my choice to be here, to do something good for myself, this clear intention of making the most of my time in this experience, that I may get from it what's right for me and free to let go of what isn't right for me at this time in this body. And in this process and journey, every day in every way, I, we, are growing healthier, stronger, better, and wiser. Let the eyes, just in breath, exhale. A good inhale depends on the exhale that precedes it. Empty it out and breathe it in. Feel the fullness. Let it go from the top down. Squeeze it out. Feel the emptiness. And let yourself fill back up. Letting the breath pump and massage just from the inside out and release it. gathering from the earth up, calling from the sky down. Let's activate the hands and chi up. You might let your body just kind of wiggle with it, almost like you're doing shake the branches of the tree. Just let it loosen up a little bit, let the hips shake a little bit side to side, let the whole body vibrate. And breathe. And release. Clasping the hands behind the back, warming up, supreme walking. In the words of my teacher, Grandmaster Umar Sharif, you know, it's all about the basics, no matter how far you get, no matter how advanced and expert you become, it's all about the foundations. It's all about the basics and you never stop training those, continually returning 
to the beginning and starting again. So just taking a moment to wake up the body, to activate the feet, this grounding, this rooting to the earth, this pumping of the blood, the breath, the body, allowing for this cultivation, this internal power to grow, expanding our inner awareness, the sensations in our body, our breath, Let yourself feel the movement. Feel the hips moving a little bit side to side and the heels lifting and the thighs activating and releasing. Just imagine as it's pumping the legs, it's moving up through the life-giving systems and organs of the body and through the torso and through the spine, rising all the way up into the head, up and out flowing across the shoulders, down the arms, to the wrists and the hands and fingers. Full body connection. Even when we emphasize or focus on one area of movement or one idea, one aspect, really the whole is involved. There's no way to separate it out. That we can focus dig in to specific areas or methods. No matter what we're choosing to engage in, the whole is always involved. And release and relax. And just take a moment to root. Just invite the gates in the body to open, the joints to open a softness in the joints, a lengthening of the arms and a stretching and reaching of the fingers, gentleness in the ankles and knees and hips, gentleness in the spine, the shoulders, the elbows, the wrists, allowing for fluid circulation, blood flow, allowing for smooth connection. Adjusting breath, exhale, three deep breaths. One, like priming a pump. Two, a readiness. Third deep breath. And cleanse. Palms to the sky, connecting the middle fingers, connecting the index and thumbs of each hand to each one another, almost like it was uh, your pelvic bone. Resting the fingers below the belly button, the front access point to the sacral chakra, the lower Dan Tien. Tailbone tucked under gently as the knees are gently bent. Chin slightly tucked. Fire flower qigong. Exercise one, pushing the sky, moving with me, breathing at your own pace. Open the palms, reach in, bend the knees, squat a little bit, let the knees come in if you can. Without the head tipping too far forward, just kind of find yourself kind of sinking in. Open. The hands meet the knees, part the knees, and begin to rise. Palms facing forward. My arms are just a little bit in front of my body, about 10 or 15 degrees, so I'm taking out the pressure on my shoulder. It's nice and rounded, like I'm hugging a giant sphere. And as I Sink the knees, bend the knees, and stretch my spine. My palms begin to rotate. My arms begin to lift, connecting to that deep root, the fountain, connecting to the funnel, 
Imagine the arms and the head funnel and then rise up. Matching up the palms and fingers. Breathing into the belly, allowing for communication and connection from left to right and back again. If there is too much area on one side of the body, allow it to flow to the other and let it find its own natural harmony. Making a physical connection with the posture and an energy connection. Interlace the ring and middle fingers, pinky index and thumbs connected. Lifting up on the arms, lay the head back. Opening up the front of the chakras. Opening up the front of the body as it still continues to flow up and down the spine through the center. So let it shine on your top of your head, your forehead, your throat, your chest, your belly, chin down. And if having your arms up above your head doesn't feel quite right, then just bring them out in front or at a diagonal. It's the same thing. Opening up the back of the chakras. Feeling that light pouring down the top of the head, the back of the neck, back of the head. Shoulder blades, the spine, shining towards the back. And then melt and flow and ease down. Interlace the fingers and bend the knees. Interlace the fingers and wrap them around the back of your head. Thumbs in the soft tissue at the base of the skull. Lift the chin just about level but slightly tucked. Tailbone tucks under a little bit just until I lengthen my lower back muscles, my lower back and release my muscles. Elbows and shoulder blades back. Maybe a gentle squeeze on your spinal column on the back of the heart chakra. Maybe it's a firm squeeze, squeeze gently into the belly or maybe a tight squeeze, squeeze the sponge. Just potentiating all this energy in the body through muscular contraction and then soften and relax. Elbows forward, rounding the back, soft. Squeeze and release the sponge. And shift or shift and pump. Bring the hands directly about the crown as if pumping energy through the feet, through the earth, up. And as we rotate the palms forward and up, letting the arms come just a little bit forward of the body once again, about 10 or 15 degrees, and then push up onto the toes. It's easier to balance if you're looking straight ahead or slightly down. Over time, you might get to where you could look directly up at your hands, pushing into the upper chakras, connecting earth to crown and above. Release the elbows, separate the fingers, point the index fingers, tuck everything else, moving up well above the head to a single point beam of light into the ninth chakra, the ponre, the seat of the soul, spirit, the soul journey. Big open arcing light, big circles. We sink down onto the heels, brushing the arms through the field. Return and relax. Just let everything rest for a second. Feel your breath in your belly. And once again, reach in. Knees don't have to come in, but they can. Reach into yourself, connecting right to left and back again. And then open and gather and rise from the earth, scooping into the earth, gathering through the field. Imagine lifting all this beautiful, nurturing, grounding, foundational energy from the earth up through the legs and the hands and arms scooping up from the sides and then bend the knees and raise the arms to a slight diagonal and let all that pour into the body. All the way down into the earth. Now pushing feet against the earth, pushing against 
your center of gravity rising up, pushing up from the earth. Match up the palms and the fingers, let everything kind of connect for a second. Breathe into the belly. And then interlace the ring and middle fingers, lift up on the arms of the head back and breathe. Just opening up that brow and the throat and the heart all the way down to the root, all the way up to the crown and beyond. Chin down, reaching up and breathe. Send the head hang naturally forward, not forcing it. Opening up the shoulders. And then melt, interlace the fingers, bend the knees, and melt, ease, and relax down. Wrapping the fingers around the back of the head, thumbs and soft tissue at the base of the skull. Rounded, nice, and relaxed forward. Aligning the spine and creating a lower and upper lock. Lift the chin just about level, slightly tucked. Tailbone tucks forward and under gently. Elbows and shoulder blades come back, squeeze on the back of the heart. Gauge the upper core. Squeeze into the belly. Gauge the lower core. Squeeze and then release, soften. Shift or rock and pump from the earth up to the sky. Roll the palms up. Up on the toes, and if you can't hold that there, that's okay if you're on your heels instead. Flat on the feet, that's fine. Helps to squeeze the knees towards each other and squeeze the belly. Release the elbows and point up. Big open arcing circle. And let yourself come down and relax. Now we'll go through two moves to these exercises with controlled breathing, with the cleansing breath. And if for any reason your breath is challenged and, and or it's distracting and doesn't feel right for today's body, then just focus on your own breath and follow the body movement. It's all about the same, it's all good. Once again, adjusting breath, exhale, gather, and release. Repeating this over and over. Until my energy, my whole system, my body, my mind, everything responds to the deep breath. Become conditioned to this centered, relaxed state. Hold the breath out if you can. And sink in, exhale, open, gather, rise, breathe. Hold the breath for a moment. Sink down, lift up, exhale. Hold it empty a second. Inhale and rise up. Interlace the ring and middle fingers, lift up. Lay the head back, stretch. Helper breaths are just fine. Chin down, breathe as you need to. Exhale and melt. Hold the breath out if you can. Align and lock. Release, shift, pump. Inhale, push the sky. Hold the breath. Reach up, point, cleanse. Let's take a couple extra breaths.
chin. Exhale, open, gather, rise. Deep breath, hold it in. Sink and lift, exhale. Let it all pour into the body. Then follow it up into that beam of light, inhale up. Vertical stretch and alignment, interlace, ring and middle fingers, lift up, lay the head back. Hold the breath. Exhale, chin down. Oops, lost track of the breathing. Breathe in again. There we go. Exhale and melt. Align and lock. Help a breath as you need them. Release. Shift and rock. Pump, inhale up. Hold the breath. Reach. Cleanse. Shift to one side, inhale. Open up, exhale. That might be wide enough for you, or you might shift and open up wider. Test, how far can I go? How comfortable am I am? Inhale up. Point the index fingers, five point star. Reach up, align into that central beam of light and exhale into your center. Relax the breath. Just kind of sinking into the heart for a moment. And you might bring your feet in closer or bring them out. You might be sitting on the edge of a chair. You might stay in a natural stance instead. Whatever serves you best, whatever's right for your body today, your energy today. The archer, it's horizontal expansion. It's deep rooted connection activating the lower chakras, expanding through the heart and the throat, and finally rising into a peak, into the crown. A lot of times I like to bring my heels in and leave my toes turned out a little bit. It's the horse stance, like I'm riding on a horse. Turn from the waist to one side. And whatever side you're turning to, that forward shoulder, that fingertips pointing up, and the back arm Palm is going to turn towards you and connect the index and thumbs perpendicular, looking across the fingertip. And now with the upper hand, upper finger, we're going to pull on the string of a bow and arrow, the archer. Draw back the string, extend the bow, and keep looking across your fingertip and imagine this finger that's pulling back is moving the energy from your forward arm and all the way back, all the way connecting towards your throat and your heart, your Shoulder, look center and open up, big openness, stretching out to the horizons and then rise, squeeze the arms together, squeeze and rise. As the hands pass over the feet, turn the toes in, rising all the way up into this peak, into the crown, and then root and center. Let the lower body root into the earth, feel the pressure on the feet, and pull everything into the space of the heart and the throat, and then relax. Relax your breath. You might bring your feet in closer if that was enough exertion for today. You might have a seat. This wide stance really strengthens the lower body, and the lower chakras. But give yourself time. Be patient for yourself to Get stronger, more flexible. Bring the heels in or turn the toes out a little bit if you like. Turn from the waist. Draw back the string, extend the bow and stretch that energy across the arm. And then send your mind to the infinite horizon. Expand the mind. Look center and open up, let that energy Reach all the way across and then squeeze and rise. It might be a gentle squeeze. It might be a firm squeeze. And as I come up, I adjust. 
rising up to the peak to the crown, and then I bring it into the heart, root it in, and then relax. Once again, free to adjust your feet at any time. Let's give ourselves a little bit of a break. Heels and breath in or walk the feet in. need to push it. We could have done another couple archers, but that's a good place to start. Exhale. And yuding. Tuning inward. Looking inside. It's a moment of stillness. Inner awareness. You might instead let your arms rest at your side. Just take a moment to nourish, to soak. The hands up in front of the heart space, connecting with the fourth chakra, the middle dantian, energy of the solar plexus and heart, coalescing, nourishing. The seat of love. This ocean of light, this ocean of love. We are one golden drop of fluid in this great ocean. Each unique, yet the same. Relax the arms, relax the breath. And just begin to kind of move and twist a little bit. Let the knees bend one at a time. Like you're walking in place without the feet lifting off the ground. Just let that become a side to side gentle twist. And let that twisting create the motion in the arms. And the more you twist and the the higher the arms will reach. And just find your own natural rhythm. Send your arms swing. They'll kind of move diagonally across the body in the front, and just naturally and comfortably behind you. And if you'd like to, and if it feels good, you can twist a little bit more and really let the arms go. Just do what feels right for you, what feels natural and comfortable your own rhythm, your own speed. Just, you just relax. Allow that to stop twisting for a second. Let the body just relax. And then begin to twist side to side, trunk twisting. Pushing from one foot to the other, turning from the waist. And your arms might wrap slow and low around the body. You give it a little bit more energy if that feels good on your spine and good in your body, then you can let that move up into the elbows, into the hands. You might have to help it out if you're not twisting very hard. But that's okay. And then just lift your hands up at the end of your twist and let them lightly tap your body. Bring your breath into your belly. Just feel that inner connection. The whole body moving as one. Just allowing for this spiraling in the body. And just let it soften up and relax. Shaking the branches of the tree, shaking out the wrists and fingers, the arms, shoulders. Maybe it's very slow and deliberate. It's really vigorous. And if you can feel it, squeeze gently in the belly and Feel everything happening from the belly, from the center, radiating out, up, and radiating down, radiating out. Shake a leg or step in place. 
taking a moment to connect to ground. And make a fist, breathe in, lift up. If you're trying to punch down through some water, and exhale and punch down. Let it drop a little bit if you can. Or make it slow and deliberate. Whatever your body needs. And relax. Beautiful. Hands on the thighs. Gently bending the knees. Riding the wave. Arms floating up like water. Some of my students have been with me for many years. Sometimes... You know, we get kind of bored of the same old thing. and We want that new, exciting peace. And that is surely to come. There's a reason why we repeat so many things over and over. So I can allow myself to feel it, to experience it as if it's brand new. Because in this moment, I am in a brand new body, a brand new mind. You just let the same old, same old become something new. I might let myself find something deeper to experience something new. Just letting this rise and fall, this gentle, soothing movement. Gently bring your awareness to your belly, bring your breath into your lower abdomen, slow and deep. Just imagine all of your movement is coming from the center. So imagine like there's this squeezing in the belly that's pulling you down and letting you root into the earth. Imagine that there's this outward movement from the belly. It's pushing down to the earth and back up to the spine and all the way out to the fingers, all the way up to the head. Let it draw back in as if winding a twine, reeling it back in and let it spring back out, let it open up. And let it float back down. Let's rest your palms on your thighs. Feel a little side view on this one. Feet about hip width apart, and you can sway and move a little bit for a second if you'd like. If you need to you know, work out the feet and the ankles and such, go ahead and do that. Just beginning to activate the spine, bend the knees. Let your tailbone tuck under and forward this time. Not like we're tucked only to uh, a vertical tuck when we're standing and moving, but for this, I'm going to let my pelvis come forward, my chin tuck under, and I'm going to keep my knees bent, let my tailbone go back, let the back of my head go back, and then come back down, arcing forward once again, rise and arc back. Forward once again. Gently massaging the spine. Everything open up. Letting everything connect as one. Lift the chin. Tailbone back like you're trying to push your butt to the back wall. And then bring everything neutral. Release the fingers like you're going to give someone a boost behind the back, and tailbone forward, chin down, knees are straight but not locked, just a very soft bend of the knees, I'm not, no longer in a sitting posture, then tailbone goes back, head comes up, only to the degree that's right for you. Chin forward, tailbone forward. So 
you know, work out the tissues and anything that's stuck, anything that's too tight. And lift and arc. Maybe, you know, one or two of these is enough for you. Just doing three, but we could do three sets of three or however many we wanted to do. And bring everything neutral. Release the arms. Bring the arms out in front like you're going to hug a tree. Nice and rounded. Or like uh, you had a kid nearby with a Nerf ball and you're going to make a hoop for him. Right. And now, tailbone forward. And the head's going to stay more or less upright. Chin slightly tucked. And then we're going to, like we're trying to propel ourselves forward, we're going to push the elbows back, the palms back, and let the kind of pelvis and the hips come forward a little bit. And then we're going to bend the knees and release the arms and round the arms out in front. Like you're part of that big ball. And then pull, rotate, the palms down, bring the hands and elbows back, let everything kind of move forward a little bit. And then release, bend the knees, release the arms, rounded. Just feeling that nice rounded connection there. And then pull the hands back and the pelvis comes forward a little bit. Legs lengthen without locking the joints. And then release and sit and open up. Inhale, exhale, arms back. Inhale, rounding forward. Exhale, and back. Inhale, and round forward, sit. Exhale. Now inhale and stay where you are. Exhale, round forward. Inhale, pull back. Exhale, release and round. Lengthen, lift up, and pull back. Inhale. And exhale, relax. Just everything come to the center, neutral, relaxed. Just let your body tune inward for a second. You might stay in a natural stance and just sway and twist and move in any way that your body wants to at this moment. I open up into a slightly wider stance for stability. And one final circulation from the outside in, gathering from the sides up through the field, gathering up that beam of light pouring down, let it pour through the crown, through that golden funnel, all the way down right out through the bottom of the sea at the perineum, all the way down through legs and into the earth. And you might sink a little bit as you gather and then rise, circulating from the outside in, brushing out the tangles, repairing tears, weaving the light flowing in, around, and through my body. Gather. Nice, all that beautiful energy gathering above the head, just pour down, down to the center, down to the entire body. Coming all the way down into the earth and just melting away and releasing what's no longer needed. And in its place, new, radiant, fresh, vibrant, Chi, energy, 
from the inside out, gathering up to the center through the golden uh, fountain, this golden root, everything rising up, all the way up, shining up and out through the crown and like a spout, pouring down in all directions, circulating into the earth, recirculating into the body, rising, flowing up through the center, free at any time to adjust your legs, to adjust your body, you could even be in a chair. Just take this moment to circulate, to gather yourself, to gather your power, to call yourself into the center. Let that rise as expression. Ourselves permission to be who we are. Do what we came here to do. And one more big deep breath. Beautiful. Namaste. She 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 ni. Thank you for being here. Mo du pay.